Ini cewek baik. These make for the perfect grab and go for your kids for something nice and healthy in the morning for a nice sweet treat. And the best part about it is that they taste delicious. I just took these out of the oven. They were in there for 21 minutes and they're perfect. If you don't like chocolate chips, you can substitute them with blueberries, any kind of fruit that you want. These are super easy to just scoop out. Look at that. And they're also juicy too. They're so good. And right. the chocolate, they're juicy. Oh yeah. These are super moist and delicious. And again, they're great for the morning or for an afternoon snack. Mama, I'll talk is this. Go ahead. You can have one. Thank you. Mmm. Kid approved. <laughs> Let's get started. Yeah. First, we're going to spray a 12 inch cupcake pan. All I'm using right now is Pam. Okay, now we're going to put that aside. Okay, we're going to come over here and preheat the oven to 350. And while that is heating up, we're going to mix the ingredients. Okay, we're going to pour three cups of rolled oats. Just the old-fashioned whole grain oats. I, I see what I get to say. No, there's too many. It's oh, okay. Put a little more in. Okay. Almost there. Too many. Oh, I think that's perfect. Good job, Tommy. You're gonna pour those three oats into that bowl. Maybe Justin, can you hold the bowl for him? Go ahead, Tommy. Go ahead. Oh no. Good job, Tommy. Good job, Tommy. Oh my goodness, we have a snowstorm outside. Yeah, so. there's a big snowstorm. I don't know if that's too good. Okay, craziness. Um, we're gonna videotape this in the dark and the power went off. So right now we have one teaspoon of baking powder, but we're gonna need two of these, so two total. Go ahead, pour it in. Nice job. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon, cinnamon inside. Our nice. dry ingredients. We got a tiny pinch of nutmeg. Where'd it go? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Perfect. Our next thing is our wet ingredients. And our wet ingredients, we want to come over here and pick out bananas. And the browner, the better. Because we're depending on the banana to sweeten our muffins up. So these two look very good. That's about a cup. The browner, the better. Yes, the sweeter they are. So we're going to mush these up. We're mushing the bananas up. Get them real mushy. Okay, good job. Put a little muscle into it. We're getting there. Coming out real good. Real nice and creamy. Okay. Now we're mixing in two eggs. We have one in there. We're going to get the second one in. And now we're going to mix in one and a half cups of milk. You can use any kind of milk that you would like. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we're just gonna mix all the wet ingredients. So we're going back to the dry ingredients and we're gonna mix it all up. We'll pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Now mix that all together. Now we're going to scoop these out and put them inside the cupcake pan. If your consistency is a little more watery than this, that's fine. They still turn out super amazing. Okay, now for the fun part, we're adding a few chocolate chips to the top. You could add as many as you'd like. That's up to you. Good job! Good job. just took these out of the oven. They were in there for 21 minutes and they're perfect. We had let them cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes and then simple. They just pop right out. We were able to make 20 muffins out of our batch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Merry Christmas everybody! <laughs>